How's it going everyone? Sinister of the Gamers section bringing you another review. And today's game I'm covering is EA Sports FIFA 23. This game is available on the Xbox One, Series S and X, PlayStation 4 and 5, PC, and the Nintendo Switch. EA Sports' other popular football series returns with FIFA 23. For the first time, women's clubs has been added to the mix, and as a bonus, Ted Lasso and his club AFC Richmond appears in this game as well. Graphically, FIFA looks stunning as you can see the whole field with the score in the upper left hand corner and the field hood and the bottom of the screen in the middle. You get an opening cutscene showing both teams walking onto the field, and thanks to the Hypermotion 2 technology, they're aiming for realism. The players look amazing as you get to see random celebrations after scoring a goal. The commentary is well done capturing the authenticity of the broadcast, plus you can feel the energy of the crowd as they cheer for their teams. Before diving headfirst into the game, you can choose training mode to learn basic and advanced skills. It's cool they let you play a practice game before selecting the difficulty for you. As for the main game, you have men's and women's team based from different leagues across the world. And when you're playing, the controls take a while to get used to when it comes to playing offense and defense. FIFA will keep you on your toes if you're not careful, the other team will score on you really quick, whether it be computer or a real player. Like I mentioned earlier about the controls taking time getting used to, the AI is not as forgiving on you offensively and defensively. Another thing is it's too easy to get penalized on you when playing defense. For the new players out there, it's best to use the training mode before diving into this game. If not, it's going to lead to a lot of frustration. I give EA Sports FIFA 23 a 3 out of 5. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to drop us a like, subscribe, and follow us at the Gamer section.